brothers and sisters around the world, thank you for finding this video. Though now, I would like to speak to those of us in a particular country, the United States. The United States has done wonderful things in the past, supporting our allies against fascism and imperialism in World War II, been the distributors of much humanitarian aid, and created a culture of Western philosophy of moving ever toward the individual being provided rights that can even stand against the state when it comes to freedom of speech and the rights of all nonviolent groups to exist unmolested. But we have been led astray by an old enemy that has been constant, yet is gaining in political authority. Greed. Under the guise of humanitarianism in recent decades, we have demanded the removal of nuclear weapons programs we even suspect of existing. And even when they do not, like in Iraq, we invade on a hunch, assuming there wasn't a more sinister reason, which is looking ever more probable, and not just in Iraq. Greed drives those of us who make weapons, and as those corporations gain in wealth, they inevitably gain in power as lobbyists are paid to influence politicians with the very money made from the sale of weapons. The Iraq war has created a power vacuum that the whole world is paying for as the carnage taking place in Syria spills over to influence neighbors and superpowers alike, causing refugees who simply want to a place to live, uh, though some have been proven to be a problem, to flee in all directions, putting a strain on countries unprepared to handle people in such a state. The senators and representatives push for conflict. That they make the corporations propping them up happy and swimming in money as they place missiles in our hands. Will tell us anything to make us afraid. They say that to cut military spending even for a few billion dollars would leave us and our allies unprepared for the barbarians at our gates. But there is no Hannibal outside the gates. And even if there was, it would be likely that we would create such a figure by constantly seeking to end threats by striking preemptively at entire countries or filling military bases along borders, creating an environment of fear across the world for those not allied with us. And collateral damage in drone strikes has become acceptable. Families of suspected terrorists or even villages where we think terrorists might be hiding torn to shreds by drones. The picture is grim. A shadow of what most Americans want America to be. That shining city on a hill has grown dark. The streets of gold have been shadowed by a wall of corpses. Yet there is hope. The sun, the dream, still hangs in the sky, ready to illuminate us once more. The first step in the marathon is to cut military spending by around 20 or 30 billion dollars and place that money into education and health care. Let's make our shining city not reek quite so much. Thank you for listening.